Hello, lovely one. Relax and let me teach you how to solve this beautiful equation. Now, when you see this kind of equation, what do we call it? This is your degree 3 polynomial equation or your cubic equation because you observe that the highest power of x is 3. So what it means is that we are expected to have three values of x, okay? Now, I'm going to teach you the step-by-step -step guide on how to get these three solutions. It's just so amazing. Now, to do this, we're going to begin with solution. So this is what we have. We can rewrite it to have x cubed minus x squared is equal to 48. Now, this 48, we can choose to rewrite it in another form. We know too well that 48 is the same as 50 take away 2. Also, 48 is the same as 64 take away 16. When you subtract this, it gives you 48. But we are looking at this to just see. We are looking at the value that we will choose and it will suit what we want to do. So in that case, we are going to go for this first, the second statement. So in that case, we have it that 48 is the same thing as 64 take away 16. When you subtract, it gives you 48. So in that case, we are going to have x cubed minus x squared is equal to, instead of writing this, I'm going to replace with 64 minus 16. Now, we can also rewrite this to have x cubed minus x squared is equal to 64, as we know, is the same as 4 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 4. And when you multiply it three times, it is the same as 4 cubed. So this is the same as 4 cubed minus 16 is the same as 4 multiplied by 4, which is 4 squared. So instead of writing 16, we can write 4 squared. You see that this suits what we have at the left side. So if you keep solving, we are going to have x cubed minus x squared. We can take these two values to the left side. Remember, this is having positive, okay? So we're going to take this to the left side. The sign will change to subtraction. So we have negative 4 cubed. This one we turn to positive. So we have positive 4 squared is equal to 0. Keep solving. We have x cubed. Let's put these ones that are cubed together. So we have minus 4 cubed. Then these ones that are squared, let's bring them together, okay? And everything is equal to zero. Interesting. So what do you think we should do next? We keep solving. So we have x cubed minus 4 cubed. Now this is the same as negative of open a bracket. When you use this to divide these two, you are left with x squared. Now when you use negative to divide positive 4 squared, it's negative is same as saying negative 1 it will give you negative 4 squared and everything is equal to 0. So when you use this to expand this, it returns you to this. So you've not changed anything. So what did you observe at this point? You observe that this part, this part is of the form of A cubed minus B cubed. And each time you have this binomial expression, it is always A minus B into A squared plus AB plus B squared. Interesting. Now, what did you also observe about this? You observe that this is of the form of A squared minus B squared, and that is A plus B into A minus B, your difference of two squares. So we're going to apply these two statements in solving this to help us. So if you apply this here, it's going to give us, for the first one, Using this, we are going to have x minus 4, okay, into, we are going to have x squared plus ab means to multiply the two terms. So it's going to be x multiplied by 4 plus your b is 4, as you know. So we have 4 squared. Interesting. Then minus, open another bracket for this, we are going to apply this. So it's going to give us x plus 4 into x minus 4. Interesting. And everything is equal to 0. So if you keep solving, we have, you observe also that, remember, these two at these two brackets are together, okay? 
and these two are together. So you observe that this x minus 4 is repeated in the 2. So we are going to factor it out. So we're going to have x minus 4, bring it out, open a big bracket, okay? Use x minus 4 to divide these two. You see that it will take off this and you'll be left with this bracket. So we're going to have x squared. When you multiply this, you have 4x plus 4 squared is 4 times 4 to give us 16, okay? Now, that is for this. So you also use this to divide these two. And when this device, it cancels this, so you'll be left with, remember that is subtraction sign. So we have minus x plus 4. Close the brackets. And everything is equal to 0. Interesting. So we keep simplifying. We have x minus 4 into, this is x squared plus 4x plus 16. You have to be careful to use this negative sign to open the bracket. So you can choose to put one here. It doesn't change anything, okay? So use it to distribute this. So if you do that, negative 1 times x will give us negative x. Negative 1 times 4 will give us negative 4. And everything is equal to 0. So let's change this, okay? So this is what we have. So we keep solving, we are having x minus 4 into x squared, 4s minus x will give us 3x, 16 take away 4 will give us 12 and is equal to 0. Interesting. And remember, when you have a, b to be equal to 0, is either that a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0. So we're going to solve this too. And to do that, see what we have. And I know you've already given this tutorial a like. Let's know how you feel about it in the comments. We we'll always want to serve you best. Share this so that others will learn with you. And if you're still new, don't forget to hit the subscription button and also click on the notification bell for we always have a lot to give to you. Thank you and let's continue. So keep solving this. We have x minus 4 is equal to 0. Let's solve this first, okay? So to solve this, you add 4 to both sides. And when you do that, x will be equal to this is 0. And 0 add 4 is 4. So the first value of x is 4. Now we're going to solve the second one. So for the second one, we have x squared plus 3x plus 12 is equal to 0. This is your quadratic because the highest power of x is 2. So we are going to use the formula method, okay? And remember, for x is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And remember, your a is always the coefficient of x squared, which is 1, okay? The coefficient of your x is your b, and that is 3. And your c is the constant term, which is 12. So plug these values into the formula. And in that case, you have x is giving us negative of 3 plus or minus square root of our b is 3 squared minus 4. Our a is 1 multiplied by 12. And everything is divided by 2 multiplied by 1. So if you keep simplifying this, we are going to now have. So this gives us x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of. 3 squared is 3 times 3, which will give us 9. This will multiply negative 4. And when you multiply, it gives you negative 48 divided by 2 times 1 will give us 2. So if you keep solving, x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus square root of. Now when you subtract this, it gives you negative 39 and is divided by 2. So you observe that the Value in the root has negative, so it's leading to a complex solution. So to simplify, to remove the negative sign, this is the same as x is negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 1 times 39 divided by 2. So if you keep solving, we are going to have x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus. Now remember, when you have root of a multiplied by b, it is root of a multiplied by root of b. So applying it here, we have root of negative 1 multiplied by root of 39 divided by 2. So if you keep solving, 
you are going to have. Also remember for every root of negative one, it is always represented with I, okay? The imaginary unit. So applying it here, we have X is negative three plus or minus. This will be I multiplied by. Now this 39, E square root, you know, is not a perfect square. And there is no perfect square in 39. So this is the lowest form of this root. So we are going to leave it that way, okay? Then divided by 2. So if you keep simplifying, x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus i root 39 divided by 2. So in that case, we have it that this, remember, this is the second and third values of x. Mm. So if you split it, we have the first value of x is 4. The second value of x, we're going to take the positive. So we have negative 3 plus i root 39 divided by 2. Okay, this is the second value. Then the third value of x is negative 3. Take the negative now, i root 39 divided by 2. So these are the three values of x. Remember we said at the beginning that since this is cubic, we expected to find three solutions. So out of these three, this is the real part because it contains only real number which can be found on your number line. And these two are the complex because they contain both the real and the imaginary part. And I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to let us know how much and share this so that others will learn. And if you are still new, don't forget to subscribe for we have a lot to offer to you. Give this a thumbs up. And I'll also be curious to see your own method about this in the comments. I'll be there to read what you say. Thank you for always engaging. I'll see you in our next class. Bye-bye.